Hey everyone, today we will see how to migrate or move mailbox from one mailbox database to another mailbox database. So this is my exchange admin center. Here we will migrate this test mailbox from one mailbox database to another mailbox database. So first we will see detail about this test mailbox like where this test mailbox have been hosted. So to check that we, we, have, we will run this command get mailbox identity the email address of that test mailbox and select database. So we'll copy this command and we'll run in the action management shell. So we can see this test mailbox is hosted on mailbox database one. Now we will see how many mailbox database we have in our action server. To check that, go to servers, select for database. So we can see that we have four mailbox databases and our test mailbox have been hosted on this mailbox database one. Now we will migrate that test mailbox from this mailbox database one to mailbox database two. To start the migration, go to recipient, select for migration tab, click on this plus icon, select for move to a different database. Here we will add the test mailbox. Now here the option specify the users with the CSV file. This option is utilized when we have bulk mailboxes to migrate from one database to another. Here we are migrating just one mailbox. So click next. Give the name for the migration batch. I will give the name as test mailbox migration. Now, now these are the option for archive mailbox. So if we have archive feature enabled for this mailbox, then you can migrate primary mailbox to a one database and archive mailbox to another mailbox database. Here I will select for the first option, move the primary mailbox and archive mailbox if one exists. So I don't have archive mailbox enabled for that test mailbox. So I will choose this first option and enter the target database. I will select for mailbox database two. Click OK. I will specify the bad limit to 50. You can specify any bad limit depend on the mailbox size and the corrupt item present on that mailbox. Click next. Here choose an account to which mailbox migration status report need to send. Here I have chosen for my admin account. And here I will choose for automatically start the batch and automatically complete the migration batch. Click new. So the mailbox migration will get started. In the status tab, we can see the details for the my mailbox migration details. And in the notification tab also, you will get to know the details about migration and who have started the migration for a, for a mailbox. To see more detail about this migration in the right side navigation window, you can see the details about the mailbox migration, the status and the finalized, finalized detail as well. From Exchange Admin Center, it will take time to start the migration and to complete the migration. You can check the status of mailbox migration by this command. So it's still not showing here. It will take time to start the migration. So we will see the details when the migration will get complete. Now again to check the status of that my mailbox migration request, we will run again this command. Here you can see the percent complete for this mailbox migration is 100%. To check the complete details of this mailbox migration request, we will run this command. Here you can see the source mailbox database and the target database. And we can see that the mailbox migration requests 100% completed. So this way you can migrate mailbox from one mailbox database to another mailbox database. 
This same process you can utilize to migrate a mailbox from one database to a different mailbox database which is placed on different action server as well. And one important thing that we need to remember is that the migration requests need to be started from the target server, not from the source server. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching.